I was a soldier who went overseas to fight in the Vietnam conflict. And when he arrived, he was hastily ordered off to the front lines. After many days of fighting and watching his buddies die by his side, one day reinforcements came and the fellows on the front line got a few days to rest. And while laying in his barracks one night, one of his buddies brought in a paper from his hometown. And as he lay there in his bunk, he slowly turned the pages, hoping for just a few words of good news from back home. But page after page after page, all he could read was that down in Florida there was a riot, that the police had a canine corps and they were seeking dogs on innocent women and children. As he turned another page, he looked and saw that in Cleveland, an integrated family moved next door in a community where they were not wanted. And that in the late watch of the night, bombs were hurled at this family's home. Something began to swell in his heart tears began to fill his eyes. The question rang around his head. What am I fighting for? Am I fighting only to go back home and not be accepted? If I die, must I die in vain? The question kept ringing. He wondered where was the God that mother had taught him about many years ago. And he thought within his heart, if this God be a just God, why doesn't he put an end to this awful thing? Next to him lay a fella in another bunk who was an atheist and believed in no God at all. He leaned over and told the other fella, let's just fight. Don't worry about the outcome. Take whatever comes to you when the day is over. Stop worrying about God, for there is no God. And if there ever was, he's dead. There was another man laying in a bunk next to the two who just listened as the fellows talked. He slipped out of his bed and got on his knees. And he said, hello, God. I know you're not dead because I spoke to you this morning. The first fellow that was reading the newspaper put it down. And as he lay there about to drift off into sleep, he began to hear faintly in the night as the wind seemed to whistle through the windows the words of the song that gave him courage enough to keep fighting just a little while longer. These are the words he heard. He heard, my country, tis of thee. 
sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing. And he thought about his father and his father's father. And he said, this is the land where my fathers died. And it's the land of the pilgrim's pride. And although I'm here in Vietnam, someday I shall return. And from every mountainside, this God that's not dead will let freedom. Let freedom ring. Amen. Amen. Amen.